Good morning, everybody. Has everyone got to say hello? Everyone hello. wave and say hello. Good hello. Good you wave. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to another week of Kingdom Kids Online. And as you can see, I've got some marvelous helpers with me today. So here I've got Hannah, who's dressed up as Catboy. And I've got Jonah, who's the incredible Hulk. And Maya is dressed up as Spider Man. Let's see your web. Good girl, well done. Now, they're all dressed in their costumes because I think you'll remember that over the last few weeks, our theme has been superheroes from the Old Testament in the Bible. So I wonder, can we remember who the superheroes were? So the first one that Naomi told us about was, Jonah, can you hold this up for me? Noah. So Naomi Fleming told us all about Noah. Let's see who else we've heard about. The next week, then, we have Patrick, who told us all about Joseph. Unfortunately, I don't have Patrick's lovely shirt here this week, but maybe we'll see it again another week. And last week, Laura and Sam and Nathan and Eva told us all about Moses. So now this week, we've got a new superhero. So I wonder, can we find out who this new superhero is? If he wants to come round yeah, yeah, yeah. and introduce himself, okay. Joshua. Look. Joshua. my name is Joshua. It's Joshua, and Joshua is a super spy. So we're going to hear later on all about Joshua and what made him a great warrior and a super spy. So don't go anywhere. Stay and enjoy some singing and some praying, and then we'll be back to you very soon. Thanks, everybody. The song I want is Your Love Makes Me Feel. No, I won't be afraid. You are with me. You are right beside me.
Lincoln would like city on a hill. I am a city on a hill. I am light in the darkness. Jesus living in me can change the world. Puts the moon 
everybody. I hope you enjoyed that singing. So I said earlier in our introduction that I was going to tell you about this guy here called Joshua. So I told you he's a super spy. But do you know what? What we learn about in the Bible is that when Moses led the people across the Red Sea into away from Egypt out of slavery, um, that they ended up in the desert, so they did, and they had to find somewhere that they were going to live. So Moses thought there was a nice place that he thought would be good called Canaan. So what he did was he gathered not just two, but 12 people, and he said, I want you to go into Canaan and be spies for a while. So let's see what type of equipment my spies have. Let's hold up your equipment for spying. Um, so there's Zach's got a scope. Hannah, what have you got for spying? Telescope and binoculars. Binoculars, okay. So Moses said, I need you guys to go in and check out Canaan to see if it's somewhere that would be good for us to go and live. So Joshua was one of the people that went. And as I said, there was 12 of them in total. But we've only got two today, unfortunately. But if you'd like to stay tuned and you can watch these two spies go around and see what they found when they went to spy in Kim. All right. Okay. So this is stakeout number one in Canaan. There's our spies. Let's see what they can spot. Okay, spies, come forward and see what we can see in Canaan. Here they come. Let's see. Let's turn round and see what we can find. Oh, great. Seems to be a place with lots and lots of water. But just be careful that a certain person doesn't squirt you. <gasps> go, 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 Angus, go. Water. Go. <laughs> okay, so this is stakeout number two in Canaan. Let's see what the spies can find this time. Okay, spies, move forward, see what we can see. Yeah. Let's see what we can see in Canaan. Oh, look. Looks like a bit of a picnic going over here on going on over here. Look, great to see because look what we've got. There's lots and lots of food in Canaan. That's brilliant. Because there's not so much of that in the desert. Good sign. So in our first stake out we find lots of water. And in this one we find that there's lots and lots of food. Good job. Okay, this is stake out number three in Canaan. Okay, spies, are you going to advance forward? Let's see what we can find. Okay, move forward, guys. Okay, let's see what we can see this time in Canaan. Oh, my goodness. Look at these people. They are massive. They're so tall. And look at their cross, scary faces. Oh, goodness me. Not so good. Okay, so our spies have returned from Canaan. And Moses has asked them to assess the situation. So Joshua, what do you think of Canaan? Do you think it's a thumbs up or a thumbs down? So it's a thumbs up from Joshua. Joshua thinks absolutely we should go and we should take Canaan and that would be a good place to live. Right, well let's ask some of the other spies. Well what about this spy here? What do you think? Is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Oh, a thumbs down. Okay, this spy. Nope, thumbs down because if we bit scared these spies thought the people there were so big, so they were, and they said, these people are so big, they're like giants, and we're just like grasshoppers. No, absolutely, we can't go there. We can't try and take Canaan. And you know what? Of the 12 spies that went in, 10 of the spies were too scared, and they thought, no, no, not a good idea. We're not going to Canaan. And only two, so that was Joshua and Caleb, were the only two that trusted that even though these people looked big and scary, they trusted that their God was even bigger and that they could do anything with God's help. But unfortunately, the Israelites, the people listened to the 10 spies who were scared. And because of that, they didn't get to go into Canaan. And instead, they stayed in the desert for another 39 years. Okay, thanks for listening. I think now there's a nice wee video for you to watch, which will sum up the story even better than we could have done, okay? God's story. Joshua becomes leader. So part of God's story is about when Joshua became leader of God's family, and it goes like this. Remember how God rescued his family when they were stuck as slaves in Egypt? He made a path right through the middle of the Red Sea. He showed them where to go with a pillar of fire at night and a cloud during the day. 
He gave them water from rocks and sent food like rain every morning. Best of all, he promised to bring them to an amazing new home called Canaan. All they had to do was trust him. But sometimes people have a hard time believing God will take care of them. So for a whole year, God's family worried and complained. They felt like they'd never get to the promised home where they would be safe and comfortable. And even though God was taking care of them every day, they kept worrying that he'd stop. But their leader Moses trusted God with his whole heart. And one day, God told Moses to send 12 men into Canaan as spies to see how great it was. So Moses did. And one of those 12 men was Moses' helper, Joshua. He trusted God too. Well, Joshua and the other spies spent 40 days in Canaan, and they discovered that the new home was as good as God had promised. There was delicious food, water flowed nearby, it was paradise. It had everything God's family needed and wanted. There was just one teeny tiny problem. People lived there already. Big people. Big people who lived in a big city called Jericho that was protected with really big, strong walls and the people there did not plan to give up their home. So 10 of the spies came back terrified. They said, we look like grasshoppers compared to the people there. When the rest of God's family heard that, they got scared too. They didn't want to go to the promised land anymore. But Joshua knew that no problem is too big for God. He and another spy named Caleb argued, if the Lord wants to give it to us, he will. After all, God had shown his family how powerful he was. But even though God had always provided for his family, they still chose not to trust him. And because they made that choice, there was a consequence. God kept his whole family in the desert for 39 more years. So long that all the adults who chose not to trust that God could take them to the new land spent the rest of their lives in the wilderness. God kept taking care of them, of course, but life was nothing like it would have been in the promised home. The good news is, there was a blessing for Joshua and Caleb's obedience. They did live long enough to get to Canaan. See, God always keeps his promises. So eventually, he took his family into the promised land, and God chose a new leader to take them there, a guy who would trust him with his whole heart like Moses had. Yep, Joshua. And that's the story of when Joshua became the leader of God's family. So in case you missed it, here's the quick version. God took care of his family. He promised them a new home. They had to trust him. Twelve spies visited Canaan. People already lived there. Joshua and Caleb trusted God. Most of God's family got scared. God's family stayed in the desert. God kept his promise. Joshua got ready to lead God's family into the promised land. And that's a part of God's story. Okay, everyone, it's that time of the week again when we're going to do our memory verse. Um, it's as well, we've been doing this for a good lot of weeks because it is a long one and it's quite hard to remember. So I'm going to see if Zach will read it to us first and then Hannah and I will try and help out with some actions. So Zach, do you want to give it a go? The Bible says in Psalm chapter 16, verse 8 and 9, I will always look to you and... Um, as a, as a, you stand beside me and protect me from fear with all my heart, I will celebrate and I can safely rest. Great job, thanks, Zach. So if that's very important words to remember, that um, we can look to God and we don't need to be afraid and that we can trust him. Just the way Joshua in our story knew that God was bigger than any of those people in Canaan and he didn't, wait, he didn't need to worry or be afraid. So Hannah, are you going to help me here? Mm -hmm. And we'll say it together again and we'll try and do the actions. So let's do it after three. One, two, three. three. The Bible says, says in, in Psalm, Psalm chapter 16, 16 verses 8, eight and nine, 9. I will always look to you as you stand beside me and protect me from fear. With all my heart, I will celebrate and I can safely rest. Good job, everyone. If you want to keep practicing that at home, um, and if you if you think you're doing really well with it, you can maybe have a go at saying it to your mommy and daddy and maybe get something nice as a wee treat. Indeed. <laughs>
everyone, that's our Kingdom Kids finished for this week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Joshua and the spies in Canaan. I know we've certainly had lots of fun doing it, particularly um, going around different houses and seeing familiar faces and spying on them. It was really good fun, so it was. Um, but more importantly than all of that, I hope you remember the lesson of Joshua and remember that Joshua chose to trust God, um, even though others were scared. Joshua knew that his God was bigger and stronger than anything that they could see in Canaan and he chose to trust him. And I hope boys and girls that that's what you'll choose to do, that you'll choose to trust God. And now that was us finished um, and I'm just going to get Zach um, to close for us in prayer. But take care everybody and I hope we'll see you all soon. Bye. Dear God, thank you for the Bible and all the things we learn in it about you. Help us to be like Joshua and trust you at all times, even if others are scared. Amen.